How could he cheat on me? How could he have taken advantage of me like this? It's like, I don't even know who he is. Ugh, if you can relate to this, if you feel this way after an affair, you are absolutely not alone. You know, the answer to why somebody cheats is complex, but it boils down to a couple of things. The first thing is that affairs are really painkillers. They are, you know, terrible painkillers, but they are designed to alleviate some kind of emotional pain that your partner is in. When someone is in enough emotional pain, whether they realize it or not, maybe the pain has been sort of suppressed and it's sort of in the subconscious. When they're in enough pain, they will make horrible choices to help themselves feel better. So most of the time, people who are cheating are trying to alleviate some of the pain that they're feeling. Doesn't excuse it, just explains it. Another thing about affairs is that they are a very selfish choice. People who are, again, in a lot of pain, they aren't thinking about anyone else. They're solely focused on themselves in that moment. And they are thinking about how to get relief. They're not thinking about how their choices are gonna affect other people. They rationalize it and they'll make excuses for their behavior. They just wanna take care of themselves. It's not okay, it's not right, but they're in this deep selfish mode where they're trying to get some relief for their own feelings. And then the third thing that I've noticed with affairs is that they not only cause trauma, they come from trauma. Many times when we ask a little bit, you know, of people who cheat and we probe a little bit deeper and we try to figure out why they had the affair, we learn that they are avoidantly attached. And that happens, you know, often in childhood where somebody learns that sharing their feelings and opening up and being close to somebody else is a very dangerous thing to do. So the best thing to do is to avoid connection with other people and avoid being vulnerable and just take care of yourself and treat your own feelings and pain however you want to. And this leads people to have very poor coping skills. They struggle in relationships and they also have poor communication skills because they're so used to shoving their feelings down and pretending they don't exist that they don't even know how to talk to somebody else about their feelings. So I say all of this to say, you still do know who your partner is after they've cheated. They have, they are an injured person who made some very horrible choices. And again, I'm never ever excusing those choices. They were the wrong choice. But I think if you can look at your partner as an injured person who had bad behavior in an attempt to take care of themselves rather than a bad person, you will weather this storm better. So let me know what you think about all of this. Let's talk about it.